What's happening everybody, John Ryan here from IGN and we're looking at part one of the ill-gotten gains update for Grand Theft Auto V and GTA Online. Now, title update 1.27 actually has a bunch of new additions and fixes, including over a hundred new articles of clothing and 15 new tattoos. There's also a new submachine gun, the Combat PDW, which packs a decent punch even with its built-in suppressor. There's also a new camera mode for first person, an in-vehicle hood cam that can be toggled on or off in the options menu. The real star of this update, however, are the new vehicles that have been added. There are four new luxury cars. The Albany Virgo is an old-school muscle car sedan hybrid, and the cheapest of the bunch by far, at just under 200,000 GTA bucks. The Sterling GT is a sleek sports classic with a price tag of around 975,000, though it's worth it for the James Bond feeling you get when you're behind the wheel. Rockstar also dropped in a new supercar, the Picasso Cyrus, which might not be worth it if you've already got the Zentorno or the Trevade Adder, though it's a good buy if you haven't got a decent racing car in your garage yet. And finally, the last of the new cars is the Enos Windsor, which is a massive luxury sedan that comes in all sorts of opulent colors and ostentatious patterns. We were pretty taken with the snakeskin look, but obviously had no choice but to go with the leopard print. All these cars are fully upgradable and customizable, though there aren't any body mods for the Windsor. The big ticket items for this update, however, are the two new aircraft. The first is the Buckingham Swift Deluxe, a gold-plated luxury helicopter with three passenger seats and built-in Wi-Fi. This little baby will cost you 5.1 million, which might seem like a lot, though it's not when compared to its fancier big brother, the Luxor Deluxe. This passenger jet can hold a pilot and seven friends and is made of solid gold. It even comes with complimentary champagne and cigars for all your passengers, though drinking and flying is never a good idea. Be sure to check out our wiki for the full list of patch notes for this update, and for everything else on GTA 5 and GTA Online, you're already in the right place here at IGN.